cross hatching, you're going in one direction. And then you're going to go over in the opposite direction. So in the first one, I'm just going to do one layer of each because I want to keep it nice and light. Okay. The next one, I'm going to do two layers of this. So I'm going to hatch in one direction. And then I'm going to move my pencil over and cross over. And then I'm going to go back and do a second layer of this. So in this direction. And then again over in this direction. Okay, you can tell that we got dark pretty fast with cross hatching because we went from two layers to four, right? With even really thinking about it, okay? So an experienced illustrator that wants to do a really quick sketch might go straight to cross hatching because it works really quickly to get your different values. So the next one will do three layers of this, okay? So hatch in one direction, go over, cross over, then back layer two, okay, and layer three, okay, and if I squint at it, I can see a different gray. This time we're going to do four layers of cross hatching. Okay, so this is one. I want to go a little bit darker so I'm gonna add maybe one more okay and so we've got right and this one's gonna to have to be really dark so I might have to go over it five or more times with cross hatching so one direction and then the opposite If you want to take a break in between and just like stretch out your hands, right? Maybe do a little bit of a stretch like this so that you're not like, or wiggle your fingers around. I know it's a lot of pressure on your hand. Okay. And the darkest uh okay if you didn't finish the entire bar again you can go, go home and um Finish it, making sure that your values look nice and are different. We're going to move over to the next one, which is stippling. 